Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and welcome to this video where I'll be demonstrating how to perform exploratory data analysis or EDA using Julius, an AI data analyst. EDA is a crucial step in data analysis process as it helps us understand the underlying patterns and relationship in the data. Today we'll be using the Titanic data set which contains information about the passengers on the Titanic. This data set is widely used for learning and practicing data analysis techniques. So let's start by loading in the data set. Awesome. So now we can see there's different areas of the data set where we have survived, peak class, the sex, the age, the fare, embarked class, and etc. So our next step is to look at the summary statistics of the data set to get an overview of the data. So let's ask Julius. So we can see that there are some missing values in the data set. So let's identify the columns with the missing values. So to handle these missing values, we'll fill the missing age value with the medium, drop the rows with missing, missing embarked values, and drop the deck column due to too many missing values. So let's do this. Awesome. So now let's create some visualizations to understand the distribution of the data better. So let's first look at the age distribution of passengers. Awesome. So I'm also going to ask it to perform a skewness data analysis to kind of show me which way that the skewness of this data set is. It looks like it's a right skew, but let me just ask Julius. Okay, I was correct. So apparently there was a skewness value indicating that is moderately skewed right. So this is actually what we can see here. So looks like there was a lot of the age, or a lot of passengers were in between the ages of uh, late 20s to early 30s. Okay, so let's look at the survival count by sex. From a purely visual standpoint, it looks like our females survived more than our males over here. Okay, so let's look at the fare by survival rate. Okay, so it looks like that the medium fare for survivors was actually slightly higher than compared to non-survivors. So this just means that people who typically survived had a higher chance or paid a higher value or fare than the people who did not. Finally, I would like to take a look at the fare distribution by embarkment. So there was three embarkment points that were actually supposed to be reached by the Titanic. So I want to see if there was any difference between the people who paid or what the people paid for each fare amount for each embarkment point. Okay. So it looks like that passengers who embarked at the chair, share board, if I'm saying that right, typically paid higher fees. So we can see that, whereas if anybody was going to queue, which the name was Queenstown, paid lower fees, whereas there seems to be a large distribution of different fees paid for S, which was Southampton. Bear with me as I didn't know too much about where the people were going on the Titanic. So just to add one more layer of our data analysis, we're going to now add an additional column that actually talks about the family size. So let's ask Julius to add this in.
So this is just an additional step that we can take with our data analysis by adding another column to see the family size. So awesome, it has added it in and now just me being interested. So the average family size on the Titanic was about two. So to summarize what we did, we found that the age distribution was slightly skewed to, a right, to the right. There was a higher survival rate for females than compared to males. There was a positive weak correlation between fair and survival. And then we created a new column called family size with this data set. So thank you for watching this demonstration of exploratory data analysis using Julius. I hope you found it informative. And if you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more data analysis tutorials.